Hello good people and welcome to Finance Goals Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. For most Excel users, VLOOKUP is the most popular function for lookup situations in Excel. However, there are situations where you cannot use VLOOKUP. And in this short video, I'm going to show you three alternatives to VLOOKUP so that when you get into that situation, you can always use these alternatives. As usual, join me in Excel and let's see how to get this done. So here I have sample data, sales data. These are my headers and going down this my range containing dates, shipping ID and fees. Now let's say for this data, I want to find out who the best performing manager is in terms of the highest fees. So at every point in time, I want a dynamic formula to show me uh, number one ranking manager. It's always best to convert your range of data into a table. It makes it easy to use structured reference. So if you have data laid out like this, you can go to insert and then house this in a table or you can simply press Control T. Okay, so Control T will now house this in a table so that you can easily reference this in a structured reference. When you set, insert a table, you can name the table. So let's say I want to name this sales. So what happens is that if I do sales, then this whole block is selected. Now, to find the highest sales, I'm going to use the max function. So the max function if I run it on the column fees, so I'll call the table sales, open bracket fees. So when I do that, it runs and then it gives me the highest sales from here. Now the question is, which account manager gave us this highest fees or sales? If you want to use VLOOKUP, there will be a problem because this is your lookup value and the fee column is your lookup array. And when you're using VLOOKUP, the lookup array should be the first column in your table or your array. Okay, so because of the position of this, it is very difficult to use a VLOOKUP. Now let me demonstrate. So we call to VLOOKUP, my lookup value is this. My table array is sales, the entire table. Column index number is where my result is going to come from, counting from the left. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I put in zero or false for exact match. The problem with this is because my lookup array, which is fees, doesn't begin my table. When I enter, I'm going to get NA. So for most people, they will not have to rearrange the table in order to get an answer. But when it happens like this, you can use index match so index match will work irrespective of the position of your lookup array so to use index match you start equal to index and you always give index your result column so my result column is the account manager column because that's where my account manager will come from so sales and then account manager so this is my result column I bring my comma and I proceed and I choose match. So match just requires my lookup value here and then my lookup array where my lookup value sits in the table. So here is sales and then I bring my fees. Okay, and then comma zero for exact match. I close match and I close index and here I get this one button. So you realize that even when my lookup array was the last column, that's when Boateng is the one who owns 8996. So this is index and match. Now the second one is the recently introduced X lookup. So if you have 2019 onwards or a recent version of Excel, X lookup is one new function that you can use. So equal to X lookup. Again, this is your lookup value. Your lookup array is sales table. And then here, 
you select fees. This is where your lookout value sets. Your return array is going to be sales and then the account manager. Again, pretty straightforward. This also returns this one button. Now the third alternative is another new function in Excel called filter. Okay, so filter is one of the array functions. So you can do equal to filter. Now the array is the result that you are expecting. In this case, the column that you want to filter. So this is sales. I want to filter account manager. And now my criteria or I'm including this criteria in my filter. Situations where in the sales table in the fees column, okay, the number is equal to the maximum sales. So this is my filter criteria and I'm including this in the filter. So it acts like a lookup. Okay, so when I do this again, I get this one button. So if you are stuck and VLOOKUP cannot give you an answer, for most Excel versions, index match will work. And for recent versions, you can use either XLOOKUP or filter to get you answers. Again, please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can join our WhatsApp broadcast list. We send videos directly to your Mondays and Fridays. Please send add to this WhatsApp number. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finance Skills Hub. Please visit and subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.